Have you ever wondered where animals get their names? Or who decided that a cat is a cat and a dog is a dog? And where did the expression fighting like cats and dogs even come from? Can't cats and dogs be friends with each other? Welcome to Have I Got a Story for You. Have I Got a Story for You is produced by PJ Library. Visit pjlibrary.org to learn more about Jewish holidays, culture, and values. You can also sign up to receive beautiful picture books for free every month. That's pjlibrary.org. And now let's get to our story, The Truth About Cats and Dogs. In this episode, we're going to travel way, way, way back in time to meet the very first pets, a cat and a dog. All right, let's hop in our time machine. Destination, please. Garden of Eden, um, week number three. Confirming. Guardians of Stephen, game no, store. No, no, we uh, no, no, cancel. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Destination, please. Garden of Choo. Confirming. Guardians of Choo Choo Trains. No, 1959. No, 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 cancel. <sighs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> Destination, please. Garden of Eden. Confirmed. Garden of Eden. Yes! And here we are! Oh, it's nice and warm. I mean, really, this is paradise. Wait a minute. Go ahead and cue that start the story music now. Once, very, 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 I mean really, super long ago, there was a large, beautiful garden. In fact, it was the very first garden, the original. It was called the Garden of Eden. This wonderful place was the home of the first humans, Adam and Eve. Hey, what's up? Wait, who are you? Uh, don't worry about it. Y you can't see us. Okay, whatever. As I was saying, the garden was home to the first humans. <laughs> That's us! Shh! We're supposed to ignore them. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, guys. The very first humans, as well as a lot of animals, all the first animals, they were bunnies, chickens, <laughs> snakes, penguins, koalas, lobsters, armadillos, butterflies, parrots, fish, giraffe, you know everything. Every animal, basically. Everyone was happy, and everyone got along. We are so happy. Shh. Well, oh. Stop talking <laughs> right. to them. But we are really happy. Right? Yep, moving right along. Lots of creatures lived in Eden with Adam and Eve, including the first cat, whom Adam named Cat. I shall call you Cat. And the first dog, whom Adam named... And I shall call you Flippin' Florper. How about dog instead? Oh, yeah. That's way better. And since everyone who lived in the garden liked each other, cat and dog got along, too. In fact, they were best friends. They had a lot in common. They both liked to run around and chase things. They both liked to eat. And they both liked to sleep. They snuggled up together every night. Good night, cat. Oof. Good night, dog. Meow. Yeah. See you in the morning. Cat and dog had a pretty great life. They roamed through the garden together, rolling in the grass, chasing butterflies, and swatting at fish in the pond. Cat would scratch dog behind the ears, and dog let cat ride on her back whenever cat wanted to take a nap instead of a stroll. This is the life, isn't it, cat? You said it, pal. Hey, pass me that catnip, would you? Sure thing. But one day, dog had a thought. A very worrisome one. Cat. What if there wasn't enough food in the garden for both of us? That has never happened. In the whole history of the world, there's always been plenty of food. Okay, that's true, but, but... But, Kat, the world is still very new, right? I mean, we've been around for, what, 10, 12 days tops? What if something happened? I really don't think we have anything to worry about. I know, but, Kat, we, we should really come up with a contingency plan. Contingency plan? Have you been getting into the apples? I know, it's weird, right? But uh, anyway, I, I think it's good to plan. What if the... Uh... Mm, what if? Well, let's not worry about it right now. 
Cat and dog set off on another walk. They rolled in clover, chased some bugs, and napped in the shade. But cat and dog were still thinking about dog's worry, so they wandered a little farther. Finally, they found a nice mossy patch to rest on. Dog? Yes, cat. I think I know what to do. I'll go live with Adam and Eve. I bet Adam and Eve will feed me, and then we won't have to share the food in the garden. There'll definitely be enough for you. But I'll miss you. I know, and I'll miss you. But if we want to make sure there's always enough food and clover, this is how it has to be. But I'll be so lonely. I won't care about how much food I have to eat if I miss my best friend all the time. I got it. I'll ask the humans to open the door for me, so I can come out and play with you. Then we won't miss each other. <laughs> well, I, I guess that solves all our problems. Wow, you're pretty smart, Cat. Why, thank you, Dog. And so Cat set off for Adam and Eve's little house. Cat hopped up on the front stoop and scratched at the door. What are you doing here? <laughs> I think you'd like to come in, wouldn't you? Come on, you adorable little fluff. True to his word, Cat asked Adam and Eve to open the door multiple times a day, every day. Despite this, Adam and Eve liked Cat. Cat made sure the mice stayed out of their home and in the garden where they belonged. Cat slept at the foot of Adam and Eve's bed at night, keeping their feet warm, and woke them in a timely fashion each morning. <coughs> Whether they wanted to wake up or not, <laughs> and whenever they put their food or drinks too close to the edge of a table, Cat was sure to swat the cups and plates right off the table so that Adam and Eve would remember to be more careful next time. <coughs> Plus, Cat was very cute. The arrangement was working out just fine for Adam and Eve and Cat, but things weren't going so well for Dog. She now slept alone in the garden, and the nights seemed longer, darker, and colder. She was used to snuggling with Cat. Hey, hey, you there, lizard! Want to come over and snuggle? Oh, I guess not. Um, Moth, how about you? Oh, you're not, you're not very warm. I can't take it anymore. I, I need Cat. So Dog made her way through the garden to Adam and Eve's doorstep. Ouch! Watch out for the apple tree, guys. Oh look, there's Dog. Let's watch from over here. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels good to sit. This episode is inspired by a tale in a very, very old book called "The Alphabet of Ben Sirah." This Ben Sirah wrote a text called the Sirah. The alphabet of Ben Sira is a medieval work based on that text, but no one knows for sure if Ben Sira wrote the latter work. The alphabet of Ben Sira has two lists of sayings. There are twenty-two in Aramaic and twenty-two in Hebrew. It's written as an acrostic, where each sentence begins with a letter of the alphabet in order. The oldest version of the alphabet of Ben Sira dates back to the sixteenth century. Ben Sira is also the name of a street in Jerusalem with a well-known hummus restaurant on it. The name of the restaurant? Hummus Ben Sira. Yum. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Who's a good buddy? Are you a good buddy? Oh, hey, dog. What are you doing here? <laughs> I think you'd like to come in too. <laughs> Sure, why not? Make yourself at home, pup. Dog was happy to be inside. It was warm and cozy, and Adam was really good at scratching Dog right behind the ears. Dog had been inside, snuggled up with Adam for a few minutes when Cat approached. Ahem, <clears throat> ahem. Dog didn't even notice Cat at first, since Adam had started giving the most. Excellent belly rub. No one had ever rubbed dog's tummy before. Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. Meow. Oh, hey, cat. How's it going? Isn't this great? Dog, this is not what we agreed to. I live in the house. You stay in the garden. That was the plan. I mean, 
If we're both here, how do we know we won't run out of food? What about the balance? Seriously? Come here. I need to talk to you. So Dog reluctantly left the comfort of Adam's lap and padded over to Cat. Dog was confused about why Cat was so unhappy. They were together again, and both of them could enjoy life in the house with Adam and Eve. But Cat seemed annoyed. Dog, what are you thinking? It's it's really lonely out there. I miss you. The lizards won't snuggle me, and Moth isn't warm enough, and the armadillo keeps hogging all the good sleeping spots, and, well, I don't really think our plan was fair. I want meals handed to me, too. And and I want to sleep on a bed at night. And, uh, and, 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 oh, I, I want to chase mice out of the house. Yeah, chasing mice seems awesome. Well, I have missed you a lot. And you're right. There is plenty of food here. And the bed is big enough for both of us. <laughs> and so Dog went back to Adam's lap and soon fell sound asleep. Cat, meanwhile, was busy with his own project, hunting down the mice who kept stealing Adam's cheese. <gasps> Uh-oh, looks like Cat is about to get one. Oh, run, little mouse, run! Meow, meow, come back here, Mr. Rodent! Ooh, oh, what's going on? Are we playing chase? Oh, 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 no, this is going to be trouble. There's fur flying everywhere. Oh, 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 cat is going left, dog is going right, the mouse is coming right up the middle, and... The little mouse is safe! There she goes, out the window. Ow! Ouch! No, dog, you smacked right into me! Well, you played chase wrong, cat. Dog, I wasn't playing a game. You were asleep. I was hunting. That mouse was stealing the human snacks. Oh, okay. So, do you want to play chase? Oh, I think I need a nap. But you always want to play with me. Not today, dog. Not right now. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, I think this might be Cat and Dog's first disagreement. Maybe the first disagreement Ever. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Not. Is. Is not. Is not. Is not. (laughs) Sure looks like a disagreement to me, but what do I know from the future? What about that time we couldn't decide who got to sniff the lavender first? That wasn't a disagreement. We were making a collaborative decision. Well, what about the time you wanted to roll in the dirt and I wanted to swat branches? In the end, we did both. Oh, Things are pretty tense right now. I hope they can work this out. There you are. And Adam just scooped up Cat in one arm and Dog in the other. (laughs) Wow, he's got them both in his lap, and they're each getting some nice scritches under the chin. Hey, I love my furry little buddies. Who's a good little buddy? You're a good buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, Cat. I I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh, it's okay. And, Dog, I'm sorry I didn't welcome you into the house first. I I really did miss you, too. I should have known we could both be here. So can I stay? Of course. But, uh, Dog, leave the mice chasing to me. That's really my thing. Okay. Uh, But then chewing bones after dinner is my thing. Bones are all mine. I can agree to that. As long as we trade sometimes? Sure. Why not? So Dog and Cat bumped heads because that's how animals shake hands. Then they both walked back over to where Adam and Eve were relaxing, enjoying the sunset. Dog flopped over for more belly rubs, and Cat snuggled up right under Eve's legs. It was a beautiful end to a very interesting day. From then on, both Dog and Cat lived with Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve liked them both. Dog and Cat both had meals handed to them. Adam made a small door just the right size for them to go in and out as they pleased. And every night, Dog and Cat snuggled up together at the foot of Adam and Eve's bed. Good night, Cat. Good night, Dog. Good night, my adorable little furball. Sleep tight, you ferocious little mouse catchers. (laughs) In case you're wondering, Dog and Cat still have disagreements from time to time, like all best friends do. But they always seem to work it out. It's my turn to chase the mouse. Dog, we agreed. The mouse hunting is my thing. What if we hunt together? Hey, who moved my cheese? Uh Uh-oh. I 
I forgot where we parked the time machine. Do you have a story for us? I bet you do, and we'd love to hear it. Record a voice memo of your story or send us an email to gotastorypodcast.com. We might feature you in an upcoming episode. Oh, and don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. It really helps us out.